Another day, another drama. Whenever we tow a car, we always check inside with the store manager, make sure the customers are not inside before we tow the vehicle. Not inside the store, so... The most important part of the game is not damaging any customer's vehicles. Once we take it out of the physical parking lot where it was at, it becomes a full fee, but giving the customer opportunity to uh, come redeem their vehicle here, by the time I'm done with my paperwork, if they're not here, I'm gonna run the car back to the lot. They show up now, I'm basically saving them a lot of headache and grief of them having to take a cab down to the lot. Clock has struck 12. This car's coming back to the lot. You weren't, ma'am. Ma'am, no, you weren't. I, I was. In I, went, I went inside the store. You weren't inside Blockbuster. I wasn't in there when you were in there, but I went in there. That means you're illegally parked. You can't leave your car in Blockbuster and leave your car in the parking lot. It says that on the sign. I wasn't gone from there for but a minute, and I went inside Blockbuster. Yeah, well. If I have to go off the block, my friend is in the barber shop. I can get right back. It's a problem over here. A lot of people park their cars, they go to other businesses, and there's no parking for the customers. But right now, there are five parking spots in there. Like if, no, the if sign, the sign, clear, the sign clearly states that when you park your car and you leave, you take your car with you. It's one thirty-six. What are you saying? It's one hundred and thirty-six dollars and nine cents for me to put the car down. There's spots there, and he's telling me I have to pay one hundred and thirty-six dollars for him to unlatch my car right now. Hello? She's not happy, but she knows she's gonna pay. She's gonna pay today. How much is it to take it out of the yard? One thirty-six. Do you take credit cards? Um, no, not here. At the lot, we do. Where you taking the car? Bruckner and Castle Hill. We're just gonna sit here. Yeah, it's starting to down spiral. A lot of people jump in the car, lock the doors, thinking that's gonna help them, but see what she wants to do over here. You have to step out the car, man. No. Well, the car's impounded. It's in my possession, so technically, she doesn't have ownership to the, of the car until the fees are paid. All right, I'm just letting you know I'm charging you a $25 fee for every 15 minutes I stand here until PD gets here, all right? You gotta call the cops for me to get out of my own car? Yeah, you can't ride in the car while I'm towing it. my car. Because it's impounded. I'm not trying to inconvenience your day. I can't. I can't. All right. I have no way to get there to get the car. All right, well. I really don't have the money. So we ride in the castle hill together, I guess. And we don't have to waste any more time. So come around to the other side. Oh, no. Crazy. You can't do that. The customer decided to jump in my truck and doesn't want to get out. Our policy is, you know, you got to make it to the lot on your own. You made yourself at home, I see. Looks like I made a new friend. I need Rob for this. I'm going to find a way so she can pay the tow. You got your swipe on you? That's all set up? Yep. You have a credit card on you? Yeah. Use your swipe on. I'm letting him deal with her. No, this is cool. Sign right here with the tip of your finger, not your nail. I sure will see you right there. Let me put you down. You're free to go, honey. She parked right in front of the sign that said for customers only. So she could only be mad at herself. It was nice that they found a way to help me out, but they probably could have done that before I got in that car. She ran up to me initially saying she was inside the store while was her car getting towed. She didn't even go to the black bus afterwards. I really didn't feel too bad. Honesty is the best policy. The truth will definitely set you free or at least get you a discount. We went to a car show and I called a red light and this little pedal guy comes up on me and tells me to pull it over. And he's giving me like a whole bunch of about how my car is stupid and giving me his stupid ass opinions like I give a 
And then all these cops come up and they're like harassing me. The one ticket says Hank Lowrider with nitro packs in rear. Bad plaid shorts, white sneakers, stupid ass cop. It's cool, it ain't mine, it's pink. I wouldn't drive a pink truck, but I mean, different strokes for different like folks. I get pulled over all the time, a dollar, they give me my $30 ticket and I go on my way. It's easier for me to pay $30 than to go through the Mickey Mouse to get in this car inspected because the whole thing is, is modified and it won't pass inspection. This is my goal right now. I need my car back. <laughs> Police pulled you over? Yeah. This registration's expired. I know. To get a new registration, I have to drive it to the DMV in Delaware. I think it's something funny with this vehicle. That's what I think. I have a customer here who's trying to pick up his vehicle, and he's showing me an expired registration. I ain't never had no Mickey Mouse like this happen. Okay, sir. The Department of Motor Vehicles don't have anything on record for you. The whole problem was I put a custom dash in my truck, and the VIN plate on that year doesn't stay with the car. It's on the dash. So what you have to do, according to Delaware, take your receipts, OK? Show them that the vehicle's impounded so they can give you a temporary tag so you could drive on. Can you give me a, um, a number to a tow company? I don't have a number for a private tow company. If I did, I can't solicit them. Whatever you want. I need my car back. There should be a phone book on top of the cabinet here. Man, if the government's up. They're worried about pulling people over for dead tags. They ain't worried about this bull war and all this other shit they got going on. Still sitting here waiting. There's the tow truck guy right here. What's this, Triple A? Yeah. OK, I need the tow agreement. Well, the tow agreement's on my computer, honey. That don't work. That's what you need right here. We picked it up here and we're dropping it off yeah, here. Yeah, but me looking at it physically don't do nothing for my paperwork. Our paper, we have to have a copy of it. All right. Let me ask you a question. Where's the bottom part of your L and I paperwork at? I have no idea. I mean, I got a license on the truck. We got a problem. Are you able to get a copy of this fax in from your office? Yes, because we got everything. Nothing. <laughs> Can't accept this. Can you let the tow operator know that his office faxed it over? But it was blank. There's nothing on it. This is the way it came out. Always a problem with something. This L and I paperwork is not up to date. So he's going to get hit with some bad luck here. I'm not happy with the PPA, PPO, PBT, whatever they call themselves. Brady Bunch, Mickey Mouse. You know, I'm really surprised at this customer. He's really keeping his cool, though. We've seen worse. Tell me somebody that can tow my car out here and I'll pay him. How much money you want? I'll pay your salary for a whole week. I'm never tempted to take anyone money at that window because for one thing, I don't know who they are, I don't know who they know. Damn. He might be here for another whole shift. <laughs> Apparently, AAA and the PPA are on bad terms, so I have to find a private towing company to tow it to this private parking lot so that AAA can come pick me up. This new tow truck driver is supposed to have all his paperwork in order. You know, I was here earlier. I already paid everything. Supervisor Yolanda, maybe, or Yolanda. something. Yolanda. From earlier, but I guess she left. Mm -hmm. My paperwork should be somewhere. You guys confiscate my tag. Right. So he's going to tow it out of here and then to my house. I need all this paperwork. Do we get a drum roll? Yeah. We're back where we were five hours ago. No problem. You're good to go. I'm a freak man. There's our knight in shining armor. <laughs> What's the procedure in starting your car and driving it? Now? Driving is fine, it's just getting in. You open up the doors, I guess? No, they open up backwards. There's no power steering. And the brake pedals are all there, sort of. <laughs> OK. This ought to be an adventure for this tow truck. It's definitely going to be a first. Oh, Look at this on, thing. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> I know I've never seen a vehicle like this. You gotta have them to drive this. That's one thing you have to have, these balls. Uh, oh, there's the stinking pinkin'. Uh, this is my little custom dash I just started, I haven't finished it yet. Uh, suicide of the doors, the shifter, this girl I used to mess with, she gave me the inspiration for it. The balls are my little touch. We have five minutes until rush hour. So we're just going to sit here and wait for five minutes. 
one of the biggest parts of the day is getting this rush hour done. Hopefully I'll get 40, 50 tickets. When it's rush hour after 4 p.m., the cars cannot park there. So we will give it a ticket for the stop in violation and we will have them towed. It looks like we got a couple of them on Broad Street. Get the tow stickers ready. One minute. One minute. Still one minute. Longest minute of the day. And it's time for a rush hour. Rush hour, I kind of enjoy. I'm not fascinated by it, but I kind of enjoy it. Rush hour, sweetheart. Rush hour, 4 p.m. It has no parking. No, when I put money in there, it was an hour and a half on here. That's supposed rush to be 4.30 though, right? No, because at 4 o'clock is rush hour. I put it in there for an hour and a half at 3 o'clock, so that's going. That's supposed to give me the 4 4.30, right? She talking rush hour. It's 4.07, so I still had 23 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy, man. Do 4 o'clock is rush, rush hour. hour. Yes, it does. It says it. Okay, but there's a sign in front, there's a sign in the back. What I'm looking up the street for. If I you have to, right to here, read your sign. Read We're smarter than that. Well, why didn't you look at this sign right here? It's upside down. What the you still can read it. Why don't you get it fixed? That's what I'm saying. If the sign okay. upside down, I don't even think that that's okay. operable. It's upside down. Okay. Who's going to pay attention to an upside down sign? Why don't you get the sign fixed? Let me explain something. This sign will be fixed. Don't worry so about that. You give them a ticket. Sure. It's the ticket's shot. still gonna stay because it's a I rush hour. I put it in there for an hour and a half. Man, that ass ticket. I ain't paying that. Hell, this is crazy. But there's signs everywhere. There's signs across the street. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's filled up here. We it. have a rush hour. It should not take change and then say an hour and a no, half on there. It should wait not. Wait you don't out. agree with that? Time out. You don't agree rush with that? Rush hour means at it's four o'clock. Three fifty-nine. Your car has to be out. She's trained to do I'm that. not wrong. No, you are wrong. No, I'm not. You know you're wrong. Not at all. No, I'm just I'm trying to explain to you to read the sign. Upside down? You keep saying upside down. Well, isn't it upside down? But you can still see no stopping. You can see it because you know what it says. But common sense, if I was in the vehicle, wait a minute, listen, listen. If I was in your vehicle, I come out and I see the sign upside down, I was worrying about my car, okay, there's a sign right there, let me read it. That's how I would look at it. Have a nice day. You don't represent yourself too well. You better off walking off. Remember to drink your water and take a pan. Come here, lady. Oh, he got me aggravated because common sense. You're parking your vehicle. If you're that worried and concerned about your vehicle, you would read a sign. Common sense. There's a lot of people here and not a lot of parking. There's a lot of bars, cars, tourists, everything. Come on, man. Please, I'm in the bank depositing a check. Come on, please, please. I'm in there. This one? Uh, yes. All right, that's fine. I got you canceled. Thank you. You're quick. I'm pretty quick, I guess. I'll, I'll time myself on the next one. I guess I was about, what, 15, 20 seconds? 20 seconds at the most. He loves my car. FTT? Oh, yeah. See, Daddy knows the license plate number. He's a So there's my one hour ticket right there. It doesn't bother me when people call me names. I'm used to it all by now. This car is getting a ticket for an expired meter. It's been here for over an hour, and they didn't have a payment receipt, so I timed it for an hour. Handicap tags you one hour for free. Either they were timed at 6.12 p.m. and I issued this ticket at 7.35. Great! Boy, no, I'm a handicapped car. You get one hour for it. No, I was, I was, I was told by the, by the police officer over there that I didn't need to put money in it. You do, sir. You get one hour for free with the handicap. Look. This sir. is... You can call the number on the back of the ticket and contest it and tell them the police officer. No, told I was you. told, but no, take that thing away. Sir, I can't do that. Once the ticket's printed, there's nothing I can do about that. You know what we'll do with the ticket? 
I saw an officer over there. I said to him, I have handicapped tags. I said, can I park here? He said, yes, you can park here as long as you want because you have handicapped tags. I'm sorry if these people think they are policemen, but they're not. This is a disgrace, especially that I am handicapped. I can barely walk from here a half a block. I cannot walk. And tell that little it's a piece of cop beat her baby. Because he was misinformed by a police officer, he decided to take it out on me. You little happens all the time. I love my beat. Uh, it's a pretty productive beat. The tourist attraction. Everybody loves the Philadelphia Parking Authority. DPA sucks. DPA, DPA, DPA. He ain't cool, man. They totally suck. How does it feel to wake up every day and know you're going to ruin somebody's life? And people really haven't even started drinking yet down here. It's still early. It gets crazy down here once people start drinking. We got a ticket right here. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Can we stop it? <laughs> what do you think, Apis? <laughs> Apis. Apis. I didn't even start to take it yet. Thank you very much. Have a good Thank one. Thank you. You're you welcome. Man in uniform is always nice to see, you know? Girls, they see the uniform. I don't know. I like police officers better, actually. <laughs> South Street, it's happening down here. What can I say? There's belly dancers, and there's DJs, and there's sushi. Ooh, this is actually a problem. Don't even look at it, because I took it to court, and I can park here all I want. Huh? I appreciate what you do, though. It's really good. She knows she can't park there. See, look, even a police officer said Down with the parking Gestapo. I've been to court twice, and they're like, it's not a problem. Uh, we are headed down to 300 block of South Front Street. There's a no stop at there, and the tow truck driver just called for a ticket writer to come down and issue it a ticket. Pass me spine's time. There you go, sir. I appreciate this. No problem, sir. Just told from here, yo. There's no signs or nothing right there, Don. The sign right there says no stop, and there's another sign right down there that says no stop. But there was cars parked right there, though, Don. Like, are you serious? Like, there was cars parked right there when I came. And y'all gonna tow my car? Read the sign. It says no, no stop. But they was there when my car was parked right there. Are you serious? Now, what? I gotta go pay like $200 to get my car out? I don't know how much it is. You gotta call I need, the number I need, on the top I need of the number to y'all, dog, for real, man. Hey, cool, dog. That Right here. It's on the like, top nah, of the sign. I right need your number, man, for real, so I can find out about my car. Cause it, ain't cool. If you nah, would stop man. screaming and listen to me for a second, it's right on the nah, top of that. Dude, man, I'm just got my car told, man. Stop screaming, oh, dog. Man. That's in my car. He's a little angry. They park illegally and they get mad at me.